What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're actually going to be talking about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever had its premiere last night and I just want to go over these overwhelmingly positive reviews that it came out like at 1 a.m. early this morning. So by the time you are hearing this or by the time this is uploaded, it'll be later in the day uh, around probably 8 a.m. when I'll upload this. But I wanted to go over these reactions because they're again overwhelmingly positive and nothing but praises for the performances, praises for the choreography, praises for the uh, camera work overall visuals of course the whole trailer in and of itself was just looking like this was going to be a visual feast i see rihanna's rihanna's music getting praised they apparent those two songs of hers that are contributing to the soundtrack play during the credits apparently but i just want to jump into this because this is being called one of the best mcu movies and a sequel that surpasses the original black panther and something that lives up to the legacy of chadwick who unfortunately is not here with us today so just to start off with uh one of the first reactions here from kb said i saw wakanda forever and trying to hold hold space to really gather my thoughts we'll share more soon but for now i will say it's a beautiful depiction of how grief and love coexist and the healing in the depths of some of our greatest pain another individual here is saying that wakanda forever is bigger in scope and scale than black panther but its story is also one of marvel's most intimate and heartfelt it's definitely a comic book movie but it's one that centers grief and the grieving process rather than superheroics and spectacle another individual wakanda forever is fantastic kugler delivers a soulful wondrous sequel that packs an emotional punch and effectively explores relevant world themes a beautiful tribute to bozeman's legacy leticia leticia and tanash are great and the mid credit scene is really moving then another person here sammy shout out to you samuel i haven't spoken to you in a while but shout out to you wakanda forever is easily the best marvel film since avengers endgame the scope the camera work the acting and the raw emotions on and off screen can be felt throughout this is the marvel i've missed i have one word in my heart all night wow another individual it's hard to shake the emotional weight black panther wakanda forever carries throughout the entire film more serious in tone a wonderful conclusion to phase four it celebrates women as the fiercest protectors of all angela bassett michael cole rihanna so just going off some names that they were impressed with during the movie another individual travis hobson wakanda forever is exactly the cathartic experience i hoped it would be helping us move past our grief while watching the wakandans fight to do the same the intro of namar was incredible Incredible. the story bittersweet and packed with emotionally charged twist another individual black panther wakanda forever is an epic emotional roller coaster of an adventure cried numerous times and have no shame leticia wright performance as shuri was one for the age a complete elevation of her previous times i'm really excited to see what she's able to do in this role now so another individual same marvel marvel's magnum opus ryan coogler does it again delivering a very emotional epic and sexy horny adventure wow this isn't just another superhero movie it's one of the best films ever great action too a fitting in setting up what's next someone else wakanda forever is the best mcu project since she hulk namar is a standout now that first comment that has to be a joke <laughs> namar is a standout marvel's first mutant given the respect he deserves make sure to stay for the insane post credit scene which provides a major setup into secret wars someone else black panther wakanda forever is marvel's most poignant and or poignant and powerful film to date it's heavy and dark in the way that it needed to be and mostly abandons the studio's trademark tone the craft work levels the craft work levels up in every conceivable way and the performances rise to the occasion. Someone else says Wakanda Forever is blockbuster filmmaking on another level. It surpasses the incredible first film with high stakes and thrilling world building. World building. It's an emotional dark journey leading to a full scale war, but always feels personal. This may be the best. This may be the best Marvel movie yet someone else says though not without its flaws black panther wakanda forever accomplishes the difficult task of reckoning with real tragedy while also delivering the same sense of excitement and adventure that has defined marvel studios since the early days another individual Mar wakanda forever is one of the best films marvel studios has put out beautiful storytelling character development and a great tribute to chadwick boseman now i'm not going to read anymore there are so many positive overwhelmingly positive reviews about this movie that is just warming my heart because of the fact that they're highlighting key things that i am a big big supporter of they are very important to me character development pacing i cannot tell you enough how much those two things matter to me in terms of if you're going to have a move especially with considering how long this movie is i think this movie is like over two hours 
and 41 minutes long close to three hours long and they're using the time wisely it seems they're giving these characters some compelling arcs and i love how yes the real world tragedy of what unfortunately happened with chadwick might have contributed to some of these emotionally moving performances we're about to see considering the fact that the film will deal with t'challa's actual death in the movie and this could end up leading to one of the most emotional mcu movies we've had the pleasure of experiencing so far unlike anything we've ever seen before i am loving how i'm seeing people say this might be the one of the better marvel movies to date also saying this movie surpasses the original um and just loving how i i can see in these reactions so far that this movie seems to be a step in the right direction and it's not something that craps on chadwick boseman's legacy however i do want to say this of course we see this usually first reactions sometimes they're always positive and then when the full embargo lifts because the full embargo has not lifted you start to see more context and more specifics about things that might not have worked instead of just getting things that are positive you're going to get like the full scope of what people start to think because these aren't full reviews they're just going over what they predominantly think and so far everything seems to be predominantly positive uh, some people i have seen say that there might be some issues with the story that kind of highlights how important chadwick was to the movie all i care about is if you are able to tell a compare a compelling narrative that pays respect to this man but also is able to just stand on its own similar to how like top gun maverick is able to stand on its own then i think you have done a terrific job you might be something that i can say when i see it you are better than the original movie something though t did tell me while watching the trailer that there's a chance that this might be better than the original movie that came out in 2018 something was just the, from the visuals and everything that was just in that trailer something was whispering to me this movie is going to surpass the original now i'm seeing some people say it from the premiere i haven't seen it yet i'm going to see it on november 7th but i'm very excited for wakanda forever and these reactions were very heartwarming to see and i hope everyone involved with the movie is proud of their work because it seems like you guys did a great job and you knocked it out of the park so congratulations if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video